Hi everyone! Today I wanted to share with you what we're doing for mathematics in 2020. If you have watched our other videos then you should know that we're doing Rise Start Mathematics. We have been really loving it, it's very hands-on, game-based program which is absolutely fantastic. So we're continuing with that. However, because we live in Australia, I wanted to include some work that aligns with the Australian curriculum. So after looking at different options, we chose these three. Time for Maths Level K, Time for Mentals Level K, and Targeting Maths Level K. I also bought a different program called iMaths, but I won't be talking about that in this video. I'll do a separate video for that one. Before I start, I just wanted to say that I often remove the binding from books so that I can put the pages into sheet protectors. That way my son can do the same exercise many times over if he wants to. And I'll also be able to use them for my daughter later down the track. Anyway, I just wanted to do a bit of a flip through of these three workbooks so you get an idea of what they're like inside and how we're planning to use them alongside Rice Start Mathematics. So I'll start with Time for Maths Level K. It starts off by giving you a suggested overview. So if you don't want to do any planning, you can just follow this format. The whole program is divided into four terms and each term has eight units. So we're probably going to aim to do just one unit per week alongside Rise Start Mathematics. It really shouldn't be that difficult because the units only have four or less worksheets each. This overview is also great because it details exactly what concept the kids will be learning, which is really helpful. Another thing is that at the bottom of each worksheet, it explains how the lesson is related to the Australian curriculum. So you can use that to cross-reference the lessons if you wanted to. As you can see, it's very colourful and bright. Some people prefer just simple black and white worksheets, but my son doesn't get distracted by the colours, so it's not a problem for us. It also has a spiral approach to teaching instead of having the kids master topics one by one before moving on. Which means that if your child is struggling a bit in one area, you can move on and come back to it later. The spiral approach is also a great way to make sure your kids are not forgetting something that they learned earlier. So it's a bit like having your revision built into the schedule. This book also includes calendar and clockwork. But the biggest thing for me is that it introduces kids to Australian money, which I really like because if you're doing Singapore math, for instance, they usually have other currencies but not the Australian money. At the back of the book, you have all the answers in colour, which is nice. And the last page here is an evaluation checklist, which is pretty neat and a great way to keep track of your child's progress. The next book is Time for Mentals Level K. This book is great for reinforcing the concepts and activities introduced in the previous book, so they go hand in hand. I mean, it's not essential, but it's not a bad idea to have them both. Again, it's very colourful and bright, it covers the same topics and has 27 units in it. And at the back you have all the answers. The last one I wanted to share with you is called Targeting Maths Level K. It's also fully aligned with the Australian curriculum. You definitely don't need to invest in all these books. You can just choose one brand or the other. This is also split into four terms and each term has a revision section. I like this outcome section because it breaks down the various topics and then lists all the pages where you can find each topic. So if you feel like you need to revisit a particular area, then you know exactly what pages you need to repeat. So I really like that. Also, when we're doing addition in Rise Start Mathematics for example, I can use this to look at the pages that deal with that topic and do some extra practice if you want to. Every so often you also get a challenge question, which is something to get the kids thinking.
I'm not really a big fan of workbooks, so whenever I use them, I try to bring them alive somehow by using interactive notebooking, attribute blocks, real coins, weighing scales, geometric solids, and things like that, and make it really fun and engaging. I also like the fact that this book has a section for each term where you need to do an investigation that gets kids to plan and work through an extended problem. This workbook also covers calendars and clockwork and money just like the other two books. 